And by now, the strong opiate should be working. OK, so if it was 10 before, what's the number now? Righto, that's a 10. There's a call to the tower. I've got a young kid breathing around in pain. He's holding his stomach. I'm just going to check him out. His mum ran up to me. I could see him on the shoreline there, eh? At South End, a young surfer suffers severe stomach pain. Who's Rick is this? I'm his dad. OK. What, what happened? He just... 11-year-old Calvin came to the beach with his parents. Tell us what's happening, buddy. What's happening? I was surfing and then I just... Just try and relax. Yeah? Just, just out of the blue? He was just surfing and he came out of the sea and he started complaining about stomach cramps. So I let him sit here for a while and I thought it would sort of pass and it didn't. It just got progressively worse. Terry needs help diagnosing the problem. Yeah, where's the pain? Uh, Could be lumpy, yak. Bobby Yaldwin, Yak, is part-time lifeguard and full-time paramedic. Bob Yaldwin being the paramedic that he is, Terry's asked for further assistance to uh, see if they can ascertain what's up with him. Bob is a paramedic. He's also a paramedic. This young kid's been Hello. complaining of just out of the blue abdominal pain. OK. Whereabouts is it? So around there, do you think hit by a board or anything? You haven't, no? Worse when I push? Right. And has everything been normal lately? All been good? Just came out of the blue, did it? No. All right. Now tell me, is it definitely in the middle here? It's not on the right hand side here? It's a little bit here, but mostly in this. A little bit here. And obviously, I can't see you haven't had your appendix out before. No, you haven't. We all get an ambo down, yep? We're going to go with an ambulance. Right, ambulance, please. It's a little bit to the right hand side, which may maybe his appendix, I'm not sure, but he's saying it's more central and just a little bit to the right. All right, mate, this will help, all right? You've got to breathe through it, mate. Just, you've just got to breathe through it and try and relax. Lifeguards administer methoxyfluorine. All right, leave it in there. Better known as the green whistle. Just try nice and slowly, all right? Nice breaths, just as you're breathing normally. The powerful painkiller should take effect in seconds. All right, mate, it'll work. This will work, all right? Your body's got receptors in it, but the pain signal has a pathway it goes through, and it's just blocking those pain. Yeah. But Calvin is only getting worse. Oh, so good. Oh, I know, mate, I know. Unfortunately, we just got to wait for the ambo, mate. Keep, keep trying to breathe through that methoxy, OK? It'll be here shortly. It's normally, what we would do with this type of condition is going to get further test done. Okay, so are you organised yes. with all your stuff? Yes. One, two, three, up. If Calvin is suffering a ruptured appendix, he requires urgent treatment. Up, 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 up. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Talk to Brendan, talk to Brendan. In the, in the middle and, and on the side. Hopefully it's something to do. Paramedics must manage Calvin's pain before they move him. He needs more than the green whistle. Calvin's now endured 20 minutes of excruciating pain. Once he's, once he's had this morphine, he'll definitely go to City Children's. We're just trying to make it as comfortable for him as we can before we move him. By now, the strong opiate should be working. OK, so if it was 10 before, what's the number now? Worse. Nor has an injection of morphine. Paramedics have nothing stronger to treat him with. Just relax, mate, all right? Now we're going to lift you on this board, OK? It's only for about three or four metres, all right? We'll get you in the truck. Okay, so everyone right? Yep, I'm yep. good. My son's a very similar age to that young boy, and I hate seeing kids in pain. It's one of the things that really gets to me. They got him on the morphine, and so hopefully everything's going to be okay. 
a trip to emergency will hopefully reveal the cause of Calvin's pain. The parents were really good and they kept really calm and, you know, that keeps everyone else around them calm and it probably helps in the end. But, you know, when you've got significant pain like that poor little boy had, so it's nothing you really do help. And Calvin? His excruciating pain was caused by a blocked intestine. Hope that it never happens again. After a night in hospital and a few days rest, he's back at Bondi and working his style. <laughs>